We've got a pretty complex storm system heading our way, at least on spring terms. We've got everything from rain to thunderstorms to snow and wind projected as we head into Easter Sunday. So let's start with the snow threat, the winter weather threats, if you will. Snow and wind are likely on Sunday, especially in northwest Iowa. It's going to be a cold day, too, with falling temperatures, and it will stay cold and windy on Monday. Wind chills could, in the morning, drop to the teens and the 20s on Monday, so definitely colder than what we typically see for the middle part of April. Now we do have some winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings already in place for Northwest Iowa on Sunday. Notice the winter storm warnings highlighted there in pink and the weather advisories in purple. Here's what I expect. The highest totals will occur across Northwestern Iowa. There will be strong winds up there, which could lead to poor visibility near blizzard conditions near the Minnesota state line. The warmer road temperatures may help just a bit in terms of travel but still could be a messy setup up there. Here's what I expect. Rain will be going in central and southern Iowa in the morning. The snow beginning to the north and west and eventually as we head into the afternoon, that snow and wind is still going in northwest Iowa. And again, there could be some low visibility by the evening. Snow could make its way into parts of central and southern Iowa. We will have windy conditions, but the snow will become lighter, and I don't think our accumulation threat will be nearly as high. Here's what I expect. Overnight tonight, some more scattered showers and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder will develop, especially between midnight and about 6 a.m. Temperatures are actually going to stay mild overnight hovering in the 40s and even low 50s. By early tomorrow morning, I think that rain will be confined into northwest Iowa and the snow will get kicking into gear up to the northwest. There will be a mix of rain and snow and then heavy snow developing near the Iowa South Dakota state lines. We could see even some thunder snow up there because there's enough unstable air. Rain will continue across the central part of the state and through the lunch hour, not a big change. Now here's the thing by the mid to late afternoon, some of these showers and thunderstorms in eastern and southeastern Iowa could become strong to severe. There could be heavy rain there, so we could see hail and gusty wind. That all coupled with the other side of the system that could be bringing us the snow, the wind, and the colder temperatures in the 30s. By the time this all wraps up on Saturday evening or Sunday evening, rather, we will see the snow moving into central and southern Iowa. But notice it becomes much lighter, and by Monday morning, all of this is out of here, but it will be cold with temperatures in the 20s. As far as snow accumulations go, notice the highest total still expected to be across the northwest part of the state, close to 10 inches of snow in parts of uh, far northwest Iowa. I do think the totals have dropped just a little bit from Mason City to Fort Dodge and down to Carroll and closer to the metro and central Iowa, still expecting just a dusting or less of snow. There is a chance that this system could still shift. I think if it does shift, it'll actually shift north, but some models have still suggested it shifts south. If that happens, our snow totals would go up. Of course, we'll have the latest updates for you all throughout the rest of the evening and through the day on Sunday as well. So the high gets to 49 tomorrow, but that's actually early in the day and our temperatures fall. Notice high temperatures all over the place. 30s to the north, 40s for central Iowa, and then falling 50s and possibly 60s way down to the south and east and there's the wind component of this. We could see gusts up to 20, maybe 30 miles per hour in northwest Iowa in the morning, and then they really pick up going into the afternoon as high as 30 to 40 miles per hour with the strongest wind gusts likely by tomorrow evening, gusting as high as 45, maybe 50 miles per hour. I bet we get a wind advisory soon as well. Here's what I expect. We go from 49 tomorrow morning down to 25 on Monday morning. Obviously staying pretty cold and windy on Monday. Definitely colder than average. There is a chance of flurries on Monday, Tuesday, and into Wednesday as well. I do think, though, that we get a return of spring-like weather and sunshine by next weekend.